Which obviously you guys had to wait a little while before yeah. you finally heard your name called. Once yeah. you guys finally heard that, the excitement, the energy, I yeah. guess, just how does it feel knowing who you're playing now and, yeah. and finally seeing that? It's so nice to finally know where we're seated, where we're going, who we're playing, uh, and just be able to map out a way forward uh, and start to prepare. But we are so excited, blessed to be in this tournament another year, and uh, just excited for the matchups that we drew. Absolutely. Of course, everybody wants to cause a little madness and you guys are wearing your Knowles energy shirts I saw. <laughs> what kind of energy do you guys have knowing that you get another postseason mm -hmm. you get more opportunities yeah. to play? This is what you prepare for all season long. This is where the magic happens. This is the, the fun part. Um, the whole season's fun, but this is different. And so if you don't have energy for this, then I don't know what to tell you. Uh, and so our, our players are so excited. They've been preparing, even though we haven't known our, our opponent, they've been preparing all week um, and just working really hard in anticipation of doing something special in the tournament. Obviously, you guys were able to take down Tennessee at the beginning of the mm -hmm. season. How does, like playing, you know, non-conference games against mm -hmm. teams like that prepare you for moments like this where you are playing another SEC team? Yeah, that's, that's exactly why we scheduled the way we did because we knew we'd be facing that caliber of team in the tournament. And here we are, we're playing, uh, you know, a power five team in the first round. So we've definitely been there in terms of playing uh, many opponents. Obviously the ACC gets you ready for that as well. How quickly do you dive into scouting and film review? And yeah. What, what's the process like? So right now, we're uh, this, my staff's already back at the office pulling stats, pulling film, um, and we'll dive in right now tonight, getting ready for Alabama and then also the teams, uh, the next round teams. So uh, we dive right in. There's not much time. Uh, we have practice tomorrow at 2, and so we'll start our opponent scout and preparation with the team tomorrow. So we got until 2 o'clock. <laughs> we won't hold you too much longer. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're good. Um, how much different does it feel this year than last year? Because mm -hmm. last year you were going into it without your full complement yes. of players. You kind of just had to just go with yes. what you had and just, you know, see where it yeah. happened. Yeah, right. Uh, we but this year, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you don't have Mariana because she hasn't been there all yeah. year, obviously. But other than that, it seems like you're pretty much healthy. Yeah. How much does that change, you think, you, you guys' mindset and your confidence yeah. level going into it? It's huge uh, to know that we have our, our full contingent of what we've played with all season and, and everybody is feeling good and healthy uh, is huge for us. And, and I really feel like we're in a great place as a team. We finished strong. We did well in the ACC tournament. We overachieved um, by all standards. And so uh, I, I just feel so good about where we are right now. As far as the tournament itself, oh, oh sorry. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, was, I didn't know if we were talking not. As far as the tournament itself, yeah. um, do you talk to the team at all about, you know, beforehand these last couple of days about, you know, we're going to be in this position yeah. or that position? Or is it more, yes. are you just more focusing on your yourself and then yeah. you see where it goes after um, that? We talked about uh, the tournament overall, you know, just explain it. You never know what players, I mean, most of these players have not played in the NCAA tournament. Some of them have only heard the term March Madness and that's all they really know. So we talked about what does the tournament look like? How does seeding work? Uh, and then I told them that we had been predicted uh, between a seven and a nine. Nobody knows until it's announced, but that was kind of, and so what that meant. If you're a seven seed, what does that mean? If you're an eight or a nine seed, what does that mean? What's the outlook? Where are you going? Um, so we tried to prepare them a little bit in that way to, to just have their expectations where they needed to be. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll look specifically at our region and see the teams in it and see our path forward. But really the biggest focus this week has been on winning that first game. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's the biggest thing is, is we have to win that first game in terms of the, that's what we want to do. That's our goal. Uh, we haven't done that in, in the last few years. And so we start there. And then after that, you know, whatever happens is, is great. We, we move on to the next. So that's why I'm really excited about our draw and, and who we've got. Um, it's going to be a great competitive game, but I love, I love our, our, our matchups and, and uh, it'll be really fun. You said you were thinking that you'd probably be in that seven to nine mm -hmm. range. As a coach, do yeah. you even care? Is it more because once you're yes. in that range, it's more about the matchups? Do you yes. think or yeah? Because it's yeah, you're going to be playing good teams. Yeah, whether you're seven regardless, eight or nine. I know it's not. There's no easy path. <laughs> like there's no magical easy path. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, you dream about. Uh, you obviously want to be as high as you right. can be, uh, just because of. Uh, you know, you want to feel like, yeah, we earned that, that seed. And that it's kind of a reflection of, you know, it is a reflection of what 
other people think how your season went. Um, uh, but also, once you get past that, it is about the matchups. And, and that's really, I mean, where no matter what numbers in front of your name, it's can you go out there and beat the team across from you? So um, that's what I, that's like I said, I, I love the teams that we're playing. I think they're really good basketball teams and I, I like how we match up. Um, so it'll be, it'll be a fun couple of days. Yeah. We kicked around the topic of expanding these tournaments on, yeah. on the men's side. The yeah. Women's side. Are yeah. you in favor? And, and what would you? I mean, I don't know. I think we, were, Steve and I were talking. Steve was saying earlier. It's, it depends on the how they structure it. If they do a play-in game for each, I think that's fair, you know. And then you still have the sixty-four that earn that just that seed. Um, you know, to have one through 80, like a seating of that. I'm not sure that I would be all about that. So it's just, everything's changing these days. So I just got to go with it. Yes, I love it. Let's do it. Like we just, we go with all the, you know, I mean, it's just, you got to go with the flow, whatever it is, but we're just, I just want to be there, you know, so. As long as they keep the ball around. As long as they keep the ball around, 